Hey friends, it's Marie here again. I'm making a video showing off the Spellbinders Glimmer Kit for February. So February, you get these three glimmer plates that have these different shapes on there, and you get circle dies as well. You could use this on an art journal page, or I'm going to use it kind of creatively today to make a um, sort of a night sky background and moon scene, and I'll show you how I do that. So to make my sky, I'm going to ink blend, and I have sped this up quite a bit because ink blending does take a lot of time especially if you want that light and dark contrast and if you want your background to be really really vibrant so I like to start with my lightest color and put a layer of that down you can see here I'm kind of leaving a little bit of white in the center there I'm kind of making a line with my ink and I'm going to blend around that so I've sped this up I'm going to be using lots of different colors of distress ink if you want another video on how I like to do distress ink I will try to remember to link that up in the top hand corner otherwise I'm going to add a little bit of music here and if you want to just skip through the ink blending you can go to about three minutes and 40 seconds and we'll get on with the card otherwise enjoy the music and enjoy the ink blending and I'll be back in a bit All right, so I am finishing up my ink blended background. I'm just going over again with more layers of ink. I'm just trying to get it all to blend together. Now, once you get a lot of ink on there, it does move a lot nicer and you do get a better blend. Um, so here is my background all blended out. I didn't finish it in the same day I was filming, so this is the next morning. I've got my coffee cup here in my sweater finishing this card. So I'm starting off with this ink blended background that I showed you guys how I did, and I'm going to be using this foil. This is a, a new foil. It's um, called Opal, I believe. It's transparent, but it has that rainbow shine on it, and I absolutely love this foil. Um, since it's transparent, it's not going to cover up all that beauty. 
beautiful ink blending you did, but it is going to add that shine. So I'm going to use this one glimmer plate here that comes with the kit. I thought it looked a little bit like stars, so I'm going to trim down some of this foil so that it can fit on top of there. And I'm just going to glimmer a few areas in the background to kind of make it look like stars. Now the other plates in this kit have a triangle and sort of a dash line um, design on it. So I wanted to give you a look at those as well. But this one I thought worked well with the whole theme that I was trying for. Now if you wanted to, you can glimmer these and then cut them out with those coordinating circles. I thought it would be fun to kind of stack the circles up and make a dimensional flower on your card as well. So that's always another idea for you if you're looking for ideas for this kit. But I really liked the idea of making a starry night sky. So here I have this all foiled. I'm going to peel that foil off and you can see how beautiful these little stars are for the background. Now it did over foil a little bit. I got some foil in a few areas. I didn't want it. That's always an easy fix. If you take your sand eraser and gently erase those areas that over foiled. Um, you don't want to erase too much and erase your blended background, but you can erase that foil if you have a sand eraser and just gently rub it away. So I'm foiling this next area of stars and I've left a gap in the middle because I know I'm going to layer on some die cuts over this. So I'm not worried about that little gap in the middle, but I'm going to peel this foil off and you can see why I love this new foil so much. I just think it's gorgeous. It gives you a little bit of shine um, without completely covering your background. So that was really fun. Now I'm taking one of these coordinating circle dies and I'm going to cut out a circle. This is the biggest one. And after I've got this cut out, I'm actually going to cut it again. I'm using this circle and I'm going to layer it halfway on top of the circle I've already cut out. And that's going to make a crescent moon shape. Now I'm just kind of turning this paper a little bit, trying to get it the shape that I want it for a nice moon shape. Going to go ahead and tape that down and run it through my platinum six again. And then I have cut out this really cute sort of wonky moon that I can put right in between my two glimmered areas. So I thought this was a really fun way to use the kit, maybe a little bit unexpected. But I also wanted some clouds and some stars to layer around my moon. So I have a older stamp and die set from Spellbinders that's got the moon and the stars in it. I've gone ahead and cut a lot of those out and I'm just going to layer it around my moon. Now I debated whether I should ink blend these die cuts or color them in some way. But it turned out after I layered them on, I really kind of liked the look of them being just plain white. So I decided to go with that. Now I'm using this little sentiment here from another Fun Stamper's Journey stamp set. And it says make a wish and I thought that would be a really great sentiment to go with this whole theme of the card. So I'm using my fusion ink from Fun Stamper's Journey. This is a hybrid ink so it's permanent once it's dry whether you use it with Copics or watercolor or whatever. I'm just stamping it on top of my ink blended background here. And I did give it three stamps so that it would be a really nice crisp black. Now I'm taking my Journey craft glue and some of my Fun Stamper's Journey foam adhesive and I'm just layering all these die cuts on. Now the moon and the two clouds in front are popped up on foam adhesive. Everything else I'm just gluing down with my liquid glue and I'm just kind of layering things together, making a fun little arrangement on top of my background. So that's mostly the card. I'm going to finish it off here at the end with some of these Starry Night sequins. And these, this is a sequin mix from Fun Stamper's Journey as well. And it was just the perfect mix because it's got those dark blues and purples and um, different things in it. It's even got some little gold stars, which are fun. But since I didn't have gold anywhere else on my um, card, I just went with the blues and the purples. So that finishes the card. I hope this gives you a great look at the Spellbinders Glimmer kit for the month of February. I've got links down below if you're interested in checking that out. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, just do all the things. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.